Salut! Silvio here. Today I will spoke this beautiful, very old Canadian. It's an USA made pipe with very beautiful grain. A Canadian with beautiful grain around the rim. Yeah, it's very nice. And it is extremely light. It has 32 grams. So I have a similar looking Stanwell. It has 62 grams. And this is a little bit bigger and it has 32 grams. It's incredibly light. It's a Weber made by a German immigrant who immigrated to USA a long time ago. This pipe is from the 40s or uh, 50s Weber it's very nice and to them smoking tabak au skill okay it's actually a mozek tobacco it is made in germany it's a kentucky it is called kentucky crumble it is virginia burley kentucky that I have from my dear friend, Mr. Yanes from um, Pipe and Tobac, Tobac channel. See, I'm not using my temper. For quite a long time. Very good tobacco, very, very good. This is a cake. It has a very sweet and fermented Virginia smell. I'm relighting and I'm making ash on the entire surface. Then I'm using my temper. Colboloi. I have a nice collection. They are very relaxing. Yeah. Today smoking a German tobacco, I will show you two German pipes. Made by the same company. Hey, Be. With Mirsham ball. This is the pipe that gave the name to my channel. It's a Hebe. And this one is another Hebe from the 60s. Extremely light. This and this one. Incredibly light. Oh. Nice looking briar and everything. Only now I'm using my timber. And now it will work perfectly almost to the end.
Yeah, the, uh, Kentucky is not very present in this it's in this blend. It is more it's a Virginia Fort Worth tobacco. No tongue bite at all. It is like smoking a smoky Virginia tobacco. It's like a smoky full Virginia flake. That's it. Sweet, fermented, very tasty, no tongue bite, very interesting. Yeah. If you have the chance to get it, Mozek, um, Kentucky Crumble, you should try it. It's very nice. Vintage Weber pipe. Beautiful Canadian. I send you all my love. Ciao, Dominic.